guys, it's Winterwolf and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I posted. Hopefully you saw my review video, hopefully yesterday or maybe a couple of days from yes, um, a couple of days ago. I'm not sure. Hopefully I posted this right the day after, but um, I just did a review of the kit. So now we're making some outfits and I have to say it was pretty easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy to make outfits. The thing is I tried to make outfits using the items together. And to be honest, I don't think that some of the items look good together. I think that, I think the Sims kind of took the high fashion out of the high fashion <laughs> because the slits don't necessarily look like slits. And since we don't have a layering system, they've had to add shirts under all of them. So there's no like actually see-through aspect to these outfits. Whereas if you looked in my review video, which I will have linked at the end of this video, the actual reference pictures of the actual clothing in real life looks much cooler and way more high fashion than some of these do. Like these still look super cool, but I kind of, this is the sad thing about The Sims, is this kit makes me want to have a layering system for clothing so badly. I want to be able to have undershirts, shirts, jackets all separate because it's just so sad that we can't mix and match these items and the whole point of high fashion um nowadays is like layering layer after layer after layer and if you look at some of those models you'll see that they do layer after layer and unfortunately we don't get the choice to like decide what to put under these shirts or if to put anything at all all of the ones already have an undershirt but in the reference pictures of the real clothes they're obviously just holes so some of those um models just have the see-through shirt with the cutouts in it but not anything under it and that looks so cool and it's really sad to me that we can't layer that in real life so making outfits together with all the items was difficult. That's why I ended up using base game because I didn't like the way the pants looked with some of these sweaters because I felt like some of the sweaters looked more basic and then you have these crazy pants. They don't really go together well. So I tried to use mostly items from the kit, but to some degree I did use the base game just for like pants and stuff for the most part. Um, yeah. I did say in the review, I don't really like the pants that much in this. Like, I like the pants, but I was really hoping we'd get some nicer neutral ones as well. I know that's not necessarily maybe modern menswear, but I just, you got to give us some more, some more normal pants. I just want some nice skinny jeans or something <laughs> for men because we just, I feel like that's lacking in The Sims. There are a few good ones, especially if you have enough packs, but overall, I feel like we really need more just normal pants plain pants because it would just help out so much <laughs> also i actually really like this top with the slits under the arms i don't know why but something about it i just love and i love all of the swatches this tan color is like my favorite thing in the entire universe i don't know why but something about it just like screams like neutral haughty <laughs> to me I don't know like I really like them I really like that that um color swatch it just looks very like sleek and clean but it's not black or white and I feel like usually sleek and clean is black and white I'm not a big fan of colorful clothing on male sims I don't know why I just I'm not um I don't like those like oversaturated darker tones like dark blue which obviously this has a lot of in the game or for this like for all of the swatches, they have like these darker blues, darker reds. I don't like those colors. So I really like the more tan, like neutral browns and stuff. And then here we've got, we're using the more like feminine clothing. And this was really fun to decorate. Or <laughs> I keep saying decorate as if I'm building a house. Um, this was really fun to make because layering them with like leggings and high-waisted boots just looks so cool. And I could see yourself like layering leggings and then having socks on top of it. And it would just look so amazing. These items were the best. This like dress option. I really, really wish that the rest of the full outfits didn't have pants so that we could actually choose our own because all of those would look so good if you could just use tights or leggings but the sims had to go and ruin it and put pants on all of these why why couldn't you let us pick it i don't understand <laughs> like the amount of times people have said please don't put items together because we won't be able to use them is astonishing and the fact that they still do it is so so sad um like i get they're supposed to be full outfits but why not just make it a dress and let us put something under it I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, 
or like make it as a long shirt so that we could actually use it and put pants under it if we wanted to you know like why couldn't you do that i don't know but anyways these items are extremely easy these this t this checkered one and the one with the scarf on it those are really easy but the ones that were already made like it felt so useless even putting them on because like there's nothing for me to do like i could have added jewelry and stuff but i didn't really want to add jewelry um it's just so boring <laughs> <laughs> like the items are nice and the outfits are nice but like I want I wish I could customize them more than just picking a swatch for them but oh well I guess you know that's the choice <laughs> there's no other option I tried using the skirt but it didn't go with any of the shirts so I think I ended up picking maybe something from a different pack I don't remember or I don't even remember if I ended up using the skirt but hopefully I did because it is a cute skirt Oh my gosh, I think I forgot to take pictures. <gasps> no, I have to go back. I have to go back. The, the skirt is really, really cute. I wish we had like a high-waisted one because I think a high-waisted skirt would look so good. And it's obviously really trendy to wear like high-waisted skirts nowadays. So like I don't think there are that many people that wear wear <laughs> like that actually go on your waist like low-waisted stuff. I don't think low-waist is a thing anymore. <laughs> Although I've seen some people trying to bring it back, and I've heard that it is making a comeback, but maybe that's just a lie. I hope it's a lie, because I hate anything low-waisted. High-waisted has always been my jam. I know mid-rise has become kind of common now, too, but anyways, the skirt's really nice. It goes with the items. I like the items a lot. Did you know? Okay, so that, sh that vest is actually supposed to be crocheted. Um, the Sims version of the vest actually looks cooler than the one in real life. <laughs> The one in real life does not look as cool as it, um, because obviously it's crocheted, so the, the way it, like, lays on your body is a lot different than the way it lays on your body in The Sims, so, yeah, but the item is cool. I do like the item a lot. Um, I think my most favorite items are that full body checkered skirt dress and then the one with the scarf. The sweaters are all my favorite. I love each and every one of the sweaters. Anyways, now you're getting into pictures. I hope you guys like this video. Um, as always, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me and want to be notified every time I post a video, go ahead and hit that bell button. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.